Hello, beautiful. It's Minna from Zenny Beauty Cosmetics, and this is Makeup Tip Tuesday. Today, we're going to talk about the five areas of your face that's frequently ne neglected that can cause you to look years older than you actually are. First, your skin. Very important for you to use masks frequently. I like to use a cleansing brush. I think I got it from the Dollar Tree. I do that once a week. And that encourages cellular turnover. And it's cellular turnover that keeps your skin looking healthy, fresh, and young. Likewise, another area that's always neglected are the brows. You need to fill in your brows. It's not necessary for you to do a full line like you see online with, the, the, with the highlighter and all of that. You don't have to do all of that. Using a brow powder, filling in your brows and brushing through them will help to frame your eyes, lift your face, and give you a more youthful appearance. Likewise, lashes. Important to wear your mascara, preferably two coats, concentrating the heaviest area on the outer part to help lift your eyes, especially if you're like me, what, over 40 years old. Lips. Wear color. Put the chapstick to the side. Wearing color gives you a youthful, bright, lively look. So wear color, wear lipstick, be it, be it lip, liquid matte, cream, or a highly pigmented gloss like our fantasy glosses. Wear color on your lips. It will instantly give you a more youthful appearance. The last area is a, is a tricky one, and that's your teeth. Those of us who are older, we drink coffee, we drink sodas, and that stains the teeth. You want to take the time to whiten your teeth. Now, it's not necessary to go through the harsh chemicals. There's natural ways to doing it. In fact, go ahead and Google oil pulling. I like to do oil pulling once, twice a week. I like to use safflower oil. Google oil pulling and you will find that that is a natural way and an ancient way of whitening your teeth. Taking care of these five things, your skin, your brows, your lashes, wearing lip color, and brightening your teeth are key areas that I've seen over the years that women neglect because of family and other obligations that can make a big difference with having you looking 30 or 40 or looking 50 or 60 when you're 30 or 40. I hope you found these tips helpful. Please follow us on our YouTube channel. We will be starting a series called Back to Basics on June 24th. We're going to start from the beginning from basic skincare, working our way all the way up through all kinds of various detailed eye and lip uh, techniques for women over 40. Until next time, take care of you. Bye-bye now. Tips for makeup on mature skin. Tip number one, make sure you moisturize. Hydrated skin is so important before applying makeup. Then, of course, use thin layers and primer. Tip number three is use matte eyeshadows on the crease. It's fine to use a glitter, but make sure it's more focused on the lid and a finer texture. With matte shadows on the lid, it just gives a smoother appearance. For concealer, apply a moisturizing one under the eyes. Tip number five, use a precise brow pencil to fill in sparse areas. Use a gel or ink pen liner for easy application and pop on a pair of natural false lashes. For bronzer, use a matte bronzer, just a small amount. It really makes the cheekbones pop. A little bit of highlighter is optional, but it adds a natural glow. For lips, a lip liner to prevent feathering and bleeding. Then of course, a setting spray. Comment below which tip you would try. Now let's see what she thinks. You like your makeup? I love it. It's so beautiful. Yay.
Don't leave me 